My name is Ben Cook. It's hard to sort of give a one line to what I do. Generally welding, metal fabricating, but um, making furniture out of wood and steel, learning to become a firefighter, learning how to be a, a husband and a stepdad, and a new business owner, entrepreneur. I don't know, exploring the world, and figuring it out as I go, with a lot of help from a lot of other people. <laughs> because I'm not that good at it on my own. So my process for designing a piece for a space would involve me going into the space, seeing the size of it, um, how it's designed, furnished, other pieces in it. I'll have an idea in my head and I'll sketch it out and then we we'll talk with the customer about what ideas they have, what things they've been inspired by. I like the challenge of figuring out, you know, what does it need to be? What are these dimensions? You know, is the, the slope of that railing, is it right? Is it parallel with everything else? Does it fit inside whatever? Then when it comes out right, I'm pumped. I'm really pumped. Do you guys make bacon? No? I do wish, I smell it. Something smells bacon. I, I can't imagine not working with my hands in this way with these type of tools. I got into this back in 2000 and saw an ad for the climbing wall company looking for someone to build walls, which seemed like a pretty ideal blend of things for me, climbing and then construction work. And one day, my buddy and I that were working there decided we needed some stools for, for the shop, for sitting at tables and working. I'm like, all right, well, let's build a couple stools. We built a couple stools. We're like, this is awesome. We should make furniture. And that pretty much put the bug in my ear for wanting at some point to make furniture. And I've been, literally been thinking about it ever since. I'll do this until my wife retires, and I guess that means I retire. <laughs> but even then, I mean, there's really not, there's really not a retiring from this. Even if I do, you know, close the door and take the sign down in my garage, wherever that is, I'm gonna have some sort of shop space where I can weld something or fix something. You know, this is, this is what I'd like to do for the rest of my life. Not until now have I made a really focused effort to, to take all the, the ideas and the thoughts and the inspirations I've had for so many years and try and make them reality. I think when somebody buys something that I've made, they're, one, they're getting a very unique piece. One of a kind, doesn't exist anywhere else. I've never made it before. And I'm not gonna be satisfied if it's just sort of okay. You know, the words close enough or not part of my vocabulary. I want it to be beautiful, like from day one, and then day 10,000. I definitely hold myself to a, a higher standard than what I think I can achieve sometimes. I don't want it to look like just a slab that you could buy at any lumber store. I expect that I'm gonna put the very best effort I can into whatever I'm working on and I'm gonna produce the absolute best thing that I can. And it's something that's gonna last decades, centuries. You know, I, I kinda like to think of my stuff as legacy pieces. They're gonna last beyond generations. 